Uh, hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next YouTube video and this is going to be another Quora slash Avatar news update video. Um, and obviously, yep, I'm going to have pictures of some of this stuff um, kind of laced throughout the video so I'll just kind of cut to those when um, they're necessary. Just so you're wondering. Um, okay, so I'll start with, um, I suppose, uh, the follow-up piece of news to something that happened like last week, week before, and that was the whole... Janet Varney April issue that she said it was April it turned out to be wrong she had to apologize for it and um, uh, she actually apologized again on her her own podcast which is uh, the JV Club episode 56 if you just listen to about the first two minutes of that show she basically just gets straight into like an apology and explaining uh, why she thought it was April why she said April and stuff like that and the reason that she said April was because she heard fans say April, and then she thought it was confirmed already, and that's where it came about. So, that's just a quick update on that. Um, second piece of news would be that IGN had an interview with Seychelle Gabrielle, who is the voice actress for Sammy, and it was about book two. They asked her a few questions, and while there wasn't much information, it was just interesting to see someone talk about Cora in a way where they kind of just didn't open it up with, I can't say anything about book two. She actually said that she doesn't actually remember book two much because they're already deep into work on like book three onwards. Um, but she did mention stuff like in book two that Asami, because she now owns Future Industries and, and is a pilot, she flies like the other members of Team Avatar around the place. So that kind of explains how they're going to travel around the place uh, more. So that's a... Uh, pretty cool. That's how obviously how they get to the Southern Water Tribe and stuff like that I guess. Um, yeah, It's definitely a pretty cool interview, check it out, the link to that interview is in the description. It's only like two or three minutes long so it's uh, not massive. Next piece of news is some comic news and um, the first bit is, is that it all comes from WonderCon 2013 which uh, happened, I believe, sometime last week, and, <clears throat> and the news kind of came out via comic book resources. And the first piece of news is that um, <clears throat> the, the, uh, the cover for the Search Part 3 was revealed, and you can see it uh, here. And um, I think it's a really cool cover, actually. Um, the just of the it's a very action orientated cover in that um, more than pretty much any of the books so far there's some really nice action on them. The Promise Part Three is probably still a better cover in my opinion, but this one is pretty cool as well. The look on Ang's face is cool and intense. Zuko in the classic Firebender pose, Azula lightning bending, it's pretty cool. Uh, I suppose the one thing is like that. Oh, wh where is um, Ursa? Why is Ursa not on, on the cover of this one or something like that? So, so obviously something happens in part two or three that um, explains that, or maybe it's just so they don't spoil anything on this cover. But uh, anyway, that's all that was really revealed. The release date is unknown as of now, but um, I think we all assume that it's going to be sometime maybe early October, early November, sometime when part three comes out. But uh, other than that, the other news from that panel was that um, we got a preview page for the search part 2, which you can see here. And um, this page is pretty interesting because um, obviously the question is, is it real or is it just in Azula's mind? I'm definitely leaning towards it being in Azula's mind because... Um, Ursa looks a bit kind of uh, washed out. The colors don't look the same as the rest of the world. It kind of looks like a, maybe a dream sequence. But it definitely appears to happen early on in the search part 2 because it appears as if Azula, who ended part 1 asleep, which led to the reveal with Zuko, um, obviously this was probably what's happening in her head while she's sleeping. And the really interesting thing is that if this is a dream, that she's getting contacted or at least remembers her mother talking about Zuko getting the throne and her having a de her destiny elsewhere which is really interesting like what are they going to do there like what is this um Azula's destiny if it's not to take the throne or be involved in that at all so there's definitely some interesting stuff here it was a good preview page to give us and that it promotes discussion about part two and stuff like that um so that was the, that was the comic news um some really, it was interesting. I I was glad that we have all three parts of the cover, the covers for all three parts of the search out already, 
and obviously we have some in, in more information on part two that was cool now on to the biggest news i think from the past uh, while this news actually just uh, broke yesterday night and that is that the long-awaited dvd and blu-ray sets for uh, the legend of Korra book one air have been basically revealed um, the release date has been revealed and it's good they're they're coming out july 16th both of them are and obviously you can see the box art for both of them here um, here's the dvd box art really cool stuff the box art is by ryu ki hyun who is one of the directors uh, producers on the show uh, along with like, mike bryan joaquin dos santos that sort of thing and the colors are on that one are by um brian kanetsko obviously the co-creator of the show um, so that's really cool. I really like the box art. It looks pretty interesting. There's a bit of a maybe a mix up with the element symbols along the bottom in that there's no water symbol there but two fire symbols. Or maybe we just haven't seen like the back of the box and it maybe has this water there twice or something. We don't really know. But um, anyway, the big news obviously is July 16th is the release day. We've got the cover. As well as that, IGN also revealed what the extras are going to be on both sets. And it's not all good news. But I suppose just having this information is good news. The Blu-ray is going to have 12 episode commentaries. So episode commentaries on all 12 episodes. We That's the first we've heard of that. We knew there was a lot of episode commentaries, but we weren't quite sure if there was going to be them for all 12 episodes. And um, it's also going to have um, eight animatics, all of the creator's favorite scenes. So that's pretty cool. They're going to pick their favorite scenes and kind of show the animatics for them. That's That's pretty interesting. Um, and then there's going to be a, a new short called um, The Legend of Puppet Bender, The Making of a Legend, The Untold Story. So um, obviously if any of you have seen the stuff on YouTube by I believe Kevin Coppa, it's the uh, Puppet Bender stuff, he did stuff for Avatar, so obviously now it's uh, becoming a bit more official, um, it's on the DVD, there's going to be a Korra one, that sounds pretty cool. Now. The bad news is the extras on the DVD set. The DVD set is going to have the Puppet Bender short. It's going to have some of the episode commentaries, so not all of them. It's a, the exact quote was select commentaries. So that makes me think they're going. To, that's going to be six and under commentaries. That's what I'm getting from select. It's not like it's going to have half. It's just going to have select. So I'm a bit worried about that. That's going to only have, maybe have three or four commentaries. That's bad in itself. But it's just plain not going to have the eight animatics by the series creators. So that is really bad news for anyone who doesn't have a Blu-ray player. The fact that the Blu-ray is getting so much exclusive content uh, on it. It's going to have all episode commentaries and animatics all to itself. And then the DVD is only going to have a few episode commentaries. And it's just uh, it's just really annoying because you know I don't have a Blu-ray player. Um, I, I was got, I had the DVD pre-ordered i'm probably still going to keep the dvd pre-ordered because i think what i'm just going to do is like um get the dvd and then hopefully someone puts up the other episodes with commentaries online and and then like i'll download them just so i have them and then maybe if the uk like dvd has uh, extra ones i'll probably do something with that but it's just really annoying that they didn't do that like so so many dvd sets of late have um had the same uh, features as the uh, Blu-rays, and now uh, they're just kind of Nick <laughs> shows did not do that. So it's just one of these annoying things that like Nick made another bad decision on splitting the two things up. Um, but you know, it's, it's overall positive news. We finally have the date, and we know the extra. His box art looks awesome, uh, so that's cool. And then I'm just going to end this with like a list of upcoming releases for Avatar stuff because. Um, it's, it's really interesting that July is a packed month for Avatar stuff. Um, the up, most upcoming thing, uh, next thing out, is basically May 4th, Free Comic Book Day. We're going to have the May comic. Uh, so that's from Dark Horse. Uh, if you go up to the Free Comic Book Day, there's going to be an Avatar comic there, May 4th. Uh, July 10th is going to see the release of The Search Part 2 in comic book stores. Um, July 16th, obviously, as I said, is the DVD and Blu-ray release. July 23rd is um, the release of um, Endgame, 
which is um, the kind of second book uh, after this one, Revolution. And Endgame is going to basically focus on episodes 7 to 12 of Korra. Uh, that's July 23rd. Then July 24th is going to see the release of the Korra art book. So, you know, that reveal is probably going to be coming up soon, what the um, proper cover art for that book is going to be. So that's um, something to look forward to as well, what the exact cover art of that book is going to be. Um, so, you know, packed month for July, and that we're going to see the release of a comic, two books, one a big book, one a small book, and then the DVDs. And, you know, hopefully book will know the book to date by July or something like that. And that would be really cool if if they kind of use the merchandise to kind of promote the show and use the show to promote the merchandise, that would be really cool if it was like sometime in July. Um, it would kind of make sense too, but um, you know, that's all the news I have for it now. Obviously, there's no real book 2 news here. Hopefully, something will come out soon. Uh, we all do. But um, thank you for watching this video, and uh, bye.